on Canva, you can now easily create, plan, and schedule your social media posts using the Canva Content Planner. With the Canva Content Planner, you can start scheduling posts to all of your social media platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and more. Simply connect Canva to your social media accounts, select the content you want to post, and schedule it for the optimal time and date. After posting, you can use the Content Planner to track your engagement using the social media performance analytics. Simply click on Insights and you can view your impressions, your clicks, likes, and your comments. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to connect your social media accounts to the Canva Content Planner and how to use it to easily schedule your upcoming posts. We will also go over how to use the Content Planner to schedule events and how to share your calendar with your team. But in order to access and use the Canva Content Planner, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. With Canva Pro, not only can you access the Content Planner, but also all the Canva design templates, the entire image library, the background remover, and tons of other tools and features to help you create amazing content. To unlock your free trial of Canva Pro and follow along, make sure you click my link in the video description. So now that you've unlocked Canva Pro, let's check out the Content Planner. To get to the Content Planner, you need to head to canva.com planner. This should take you to the Canva Content Planner where you can start scheduling your social media posts. You can easily browse through each month and even see well-known events and holidays already added to your calendar. If you want to add a new post or event to your calendar, simply go up to the Add New button here. This will pull up a drop-down menu where you can select to add a new post or event. Or if you like, you can simply search your calendar for the date you want to add your post to and click the plus icon at the top right of the specific date. This will open up a window where you can schedule a new post for your calendar. But before you can start scheduling posts, you'll first have to connect your social media accounts. To do this, let's look at the menu on the right and click the tab that says select the channel. From here, you can view all the different platforms that you can connect to your Canva content planner. This includes Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and more. For this example, let's connect Facebook. This will allow us to publish our posts directly to our Facebook pages. So from here, let's look down at the bottom and click on Connect Facebook. This will open up a new window where you can log into your Facebook account. Go ahead and confirm the account you want to use, then click on Continue. You'll then be able to view all the Facebook pages you currently manage under that account. You can select to connect all of your pages or go through and select the ones you want to connect individually. Once you've selected the pages you want to connect, go ahead and click on Next. You'll then see a list of various options that Canva can perform on your pages. You have the ability to toggle the options on and off, but keep in mind that Canva may not work properly if you turn off the options. So once you're ready, go ahead and click on Done. And you've now finished linking Canva to your Facebook account. Go ahead and click the OK button. So now that I've connected Facebook, let's close this out and refresh my calendar. Feel free to go ahead and connect other platforms to the Canva Content Planner as well. So now that I've connected my Facebook pages, let's go over how to schedule a new post. To schedule my first post, let's look on the right hand side and click the Add New button. And from the drop down menu, let's select Post. This will open up the window to create our new post. So first, let's select the date and time that I want to schedule my post for. If you click on the date and time tab at the top of the menu on the right hand side, you can use the calendar to select the date to schedule your post. And at the bottom, you can use the tab here to select the exact time you want your post to be scheduled for. For the sake of time, let's just schedule a new post for today at 5 p.m. so we can see it after it's published as well. So once you've selected the date and time for your post to be published, go ahead and click on Done. So now that we've selected our date and time, let's select the post that we're going to use. If you look under Recent on the left hand side, you can see all of your recent Canva projects. If you've already created a design on Canva that you want to use as your new post, you can select it here. And if you wanted to create a new design, you can easily do that by clicking the Create a Design tab here or by selecting one of the Canva pre-made templates to help you get started. For my example post, I'm going to select my most recent project here. On this project, I'm adding all of the social media posts that I want to schedule for my martial arts Facebook page. If you click the arrows at the bottom left here, you can see all of the designs that you have in your project. 
To select which designs to add to your posts, you can click the drop down menu here. You can then select up to six different pages from your project to add to your post, or you can simply select a single page. I only want to show my first design, so let's select page one. So now let's select the channel that I want to add my post to. I've already connected my Facebook account to Canva, so let's click on select a channel, then select Facebook page. You'll then see a list of all your Facebook pages that you selected to connect to Canva. For this Learn Self-Defense Basics post, I'm going to be scheduling it on my Martial Art Lifestyle page. So let's click it here to select it. There we go. And the last thing I'm going to add for my post is my description. In the bottom text field here, you can write a description for your post up to 5,000 characters. This is where you want to describe your post and add your call to action, your website, hashtags, or anything else that you want to include. So I've selected my date and time, selected the post I want to use, selected the page I want to post to, and added my description. I think everything's ready for my first post, so let's go down to the bottom and click on the schedule button. And my new post should now be scheduled to post to my martial art lifestyle page at 5 p.m. If I check out my content planner and go to the date that I scheduled my post for, we can see a small image of my post indicating that it's scheduled to be posted for that day. If we select it, we can see that the status is that it's currently scheduled and we can edit it here if we need to as well. But I'm going to leave it as is, so let's wait till 5 o'clock and see what it looks like after publishing. It's now about 5.02. So my new post should now be published. So let's scroll down on my content calendar and see what it says. If I click on the post, you can see that the status now says published. If we look at the section here, we can see to what page and what time that it was posted. If we wanted to view the post, we could easily do that by clicking the arrow icon on the right hand side here. This should take me over to my Facebook page where I can view my new post. As you can see, scheduling my post on the content planner worked great and my new post is now available for my audience to view. If we head back over to the post on my content planner, we can see we also have a few other options here as well. If we look beside our post description, we should now see a new tab called Insights. If you click this, you can easily view your post's impressions, clicks, reactions, engagements, and the hides and unfollows. This is a great way to see how your posts are performing without having to go through each individual platform. So we've gone over how to schedule posts to your social media pages. Now let's go over how to schedule an event. With the Canva Content Planner, you can also schedule events like meetups, parties, birthdays, meetings, or any other type of event that you want to keep track of. To add a new event to your calendar, simply go up to the Add New button at the top right here. From the drop down menu, let's click on Event. You'll then see a new window pop up on your calendar where you can enter your event details. At the top, you can use the tab here to select the date when your event is taking place. For my event, let's select Saturday, February 25th. Next, you can enter your event title and add a short description of your event. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on Save. And now if we go to February 25th on my content planner, we can now see my new event. So let's click my event and check out the details. I can see that Sarah's birthday is on February 25th and I've added a note to myself to throw her a party at noon. And Canva was able to pick up that this event is a birthday and even provided me with various templates that I could use to create a design. If you click the three dots icon at the top right here, you'll see a drop down menu where you can edit your event or delete your event. So let's close the event window and see what else we can do. In order to keep everybody on the same page, you can also share your content planner with your team. To do this, let's go to the Learn and Play section at the top here and click the Share Content Planner with Team tab. This will open up a new window where you can select the social media channels you want to give your team access to in your content planner. Currently, I only have Facebook connected, but you'll be able to view all the channels that you have connected to Canva. Once you select the channels to share, go ahead and click on Continue. From here, you can set your team permissions for your shared channels. If you click the drop down menu on the right here, you can select to allow your team to share posts or select to only allow them to view posts. Once you've selected your permissions, go ahead and click on Share Content Planner. But for this example, I'm not going to share my content planner with my team, so let's close this out. 
So that's a quick overview of how to use the Canva Content Planner to schedule your social media posts and your events. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.